there, we made changes to one of our favorite Gipper features. So today I'm going to walk you through the new and improved Publish to Social Media experience. If you click the Publish button on your editing template, you are now going to see a brand new window with a totally new look and feel. So today I'm going to walk you through exactly how you can use it. Don't worry. A lot of this is the same as what you're used to. We just now have a cleaner look for you and a little bit of a faster experience. I'm going to show you how. So we're going to start over here on the left-hand side. First things first, we're going to do what we normally do and select the accounts that we'd like this graphic to post to. We do have a Select All button here that is going to select every single account that you have connected to Gipper. You'll notice these numbers change based on the number of accounts you have connected per platform. You can delete, deselect all as well. And let's say you just want to manually pick the accounts you want to post to, then you can click on each dropdown and select them. Another thing you'll notice is that we have sections for your workspace accounts and your personal accounts. Quick reminder, your workspace accounts are the social accounts that you have connected to your Gipper workspace, which means that every team member in your workspace has access to post to that account versus your personal accounts are just the ones that you have access to post to. Today, I'm going to select our workspace accounts using the dropdowns, and then I don't have a workspace account for Instagram, so I'm going to leave that be. All right, so now we're going to move on to caption editing, and this is where the speed game changer is coming into play. We now have an all tab over here, and whatever type, whatever I type in this box is automatically going to copy over to our platform caption. So let's take a look at what this looks like. Let's just say Gipper wins three to zero, a couple exclamation points. Great. If I click on over to the Twitter tab and the Facebook tab, you'll notice that I have the same caption across the two. So what that also means is that I can click into each tab, and let's say I want to add something unique to each platform. I can go ahead and do that. And then what we can do is you can see in the preview that that is applied. So here we have our Twitter preview. You can use the arrows to toggle between platforms. So here we have the Facebook preview. And now we don't have an Instagram account selected, which is why there's no preview and no ability to click on this tab. If I did have an Instagram account selected, I could update that as well and see a preview of what it would look like on Instagram. Now, one other thing to note, let's say that you actually don't like what you've done customize wise in these two tabs. You can now click on the custom tab and this is basically telling you that you've made changes to the platform captions. If you want to reset back to what you had originally put in this box, you can do so. So if I click reset, you'll notice we're back to what I had initially typed into this all tab, and it has automatically changed Twitter and Facebook as well. So this is a great tool if you just want one consistent caption across all three platforms. You don't want to do anything fancy. You just want to get the information out there. That's great. The other thing is we still have an alt text option. So if I click on that button, it'll open up a text box where you can write alt text and that gives visually impaired users a written description of your graphic. This is great for ADA compliancy, which is super important. So you have that option there as well. And now your publishing options are the same. You can click schedule for later. And this is the window that you are all very familiar with. You can select the date and the time that you would like to schedule this post to. But if you just wanted it to go out right here, right now to your Twitter and Facebook accounts, you can hit publish and you are all set. On this button, you'll see the upcoming posts that you have scheduled with the date and time, as well as visibility into the accounts that they're actually being posted from. So if you need to delete it and change these, you can. We also have the preview that you can see as well, and you can toggle through and see what it looks like on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. But we also have a new publish tab, so you can actually go back and see all of the scheduled posts that have gone out across your channels and when. Uh, so that way, if you need to have confirmation that one of your posts actually went out and posted, it'll show here, which is great.